Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how you can record web browsers inside of OBS updated for 2019. So let's get started with the Chrome web browser. So in OBS for sources on any scene, I'm going to right click, go to add and choose window capture. We can call it Chrome or something similar. And the window is going to be Google Chrome. So you should see Google Chrome somewhere on your list of open windows as long as the program is open. And we'll hit OK. Now, there's a good chance that you will see a black box with nothing in it. If that's the case, then what you need to do is go into Chrome, click on the three dots at the top right hand corner, go down to settings to open up this page. And then we can scroll down here and you'll see a button called advanced. Click on that and you'll get more options available. And the one we're looking for is going to be close to the bottom. So under system, use hardware acceleration when available. You may need to turn this off in order to get Chrome to work properly with OBS. So toggle that off and click relaunch. And when you do that, Chrome should appear inside of OBS. So now we can drag Chrome wherever we want. If we want, we can expand it to be the full view. Feel free to stretch it by holding shift in order to make it a full window view if you want. But either way, that's how you can get Chrome to show up. So next we're gonna do Brave Web Browser. Now with many web browsers, a lot of them are currently Chrome based. So in many cases, you're going to need to do the exact same thing in other web browsers like Brave in order to get them to show up in OBS. So this Brave Web Browser, I'm gonna right click, add window capture, and I'll call it Brave here. So you can see it's already selected the uh, it's already selected the window brave.exe and you can see in the same way it's not showing. So uh, Brave is currently Chrome based. So if you go into the options menu, it'll look almost exactly the same. If we go down to systems, turn off hardware acceleration when available, relaunch it, and you should get the same result. So next up, Firefox, as of the end of January in 2019, we can get it to work simply by right click, add window capture, call it Firefox and find the Firefox uh, window and hit OK. At least on my computer, it's not requiring turning off hardware acceleration, but if for some reason you need to, you can still find it by going into the options menu, which is up here and then choose options, which will bring up this page. And you can scroll down to where it will say performance, use recommended performance settings. So if you need to, you can uncheck that and turn off hardware acceleration. But uh, as you saw with mine, it wasn't actually necessary to do that. And then some web browsers like Microsoft Edge, for whatever reason, don't really seem to have an immediate fix. I did look around a little bit to see if there was one, but I couldn't really dig up anything. So if you're ever trying to use a web browser that for some reason won't work with window capture and doesn't have a hardware acceleration option to turn off, a workaround would be to right click, go to add, and instead do display capture. So I can call this edge display which actually will capture the full screen. So if you have multiple monitors, this will work a little bit better because then you can just have one monitor dedicated to the web browser while you record it. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay here and we can maximize that window. So what you can do while you have edge maximized is if you wanna cut away the bottom bar, just hold alt while you left click on the uh, circle in the middle bottom and drag that up a little bit until you can no longer see it, but you should be able to completely see the Edge browser there. And uh, then if you still need it to be full screened, you can hold Shift while left clicking on a corner and drag that in the direction you need to stretch it. And that should give you a similar result to if you were using window capture. The downside to this is, as you can obviously see, if there's another window on top of the Edge browser, that's gonna get caught in it. But if you minimize OBS and you just record it as is, uh, then you should be able to capture the Edge browser just fine as well. So that's the gist of how you add web browsers to OBS so that you can capture them on your screen in 2019. I hope this video has helped some of you guys out, particularly those using a Chrome-based web browser who may have been getting that black screen before. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my future video content.